One man. Yes, people, what's going on? It's Ashton here. One mission. To climb the ranks of Apex Legends ranked one wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Apex Legends random wheel. Yes people, what's going on? It's Ashton here and welcome to the Apex Random Wheel. This is a brand new series I'll be bringing to you guys once every week where we go through the ranks of Apex Legends ranked arenas, but with a twist. The rules of the Random Wheel series are quite simple. For every game we play, the wheel will decide which legend we use and which loadout we use. For every time we win a game, we get to spin the Wheel of Fortune, a wheel full of all sorts of different rewards and benefits that can help us in the next match, or just be a nice reward in general. However, if we lose a match, we have to spin the Wheel of Fate. <laughs> the Wheel of Fate is pretty much exactly the opposite of the Wheel of Fortune. It's sort of all sorts of different forfeits that we can get some of which are worse than others that are going to really make it a lot harder for us to win the next game. Also, at the start of each episode, to decide whether or not we get the Wheel of Fate or Wheel of Fortune for our first game, we have to spin the Fate or Fortune wheel. However, this won't be the case for today's episode as it's the first episode of the series, so the first game, we will just have the Legend and Weapon wheel. The ultimate goal of the series is to, of course, get to Apex Predator, so we've got a lot of work on our hands. Also be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if there are any changes you would make to the rule system. Of course I'm open to all sorts of suggestions with it being the first episode of the series. So now all that's out of the way, let's spin the wheel for the first time of the series. Okay, so first up we've got the Legend Selector wheel of course, and it's gonna give us... Horizon. That's not the worst legend that we could get for the first legend of the series. To be honest, that's a decent legend for arenas as well. I'm pretty happy with that. And now to the loadout wheel. Of course, every weapon in the game is on this wheel. And the first weapon we're going to get for our very first game of the series, it's, it's, it's the Hemlock. I, I, I could have asked for better. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of the Hemlock, but I, I guess it could be worse. But on to the next spin. The second gun we're going to get to use this game. Is the P2020. Yeah, not a great loadout for the first game. Okay, so as we load in, we can see Dome is going to be the map for today's episode. And that's not a bad map to start off with. I quite like the way Dome plays. Okay, we've been blessed with some decent teammates as well. That's always a good sign. Okay, but the other team is a decent team, so it's not going to be an easy first game, especially with the Hemlock in the P2020. Let's see if we can afford the Hemlock on the first round. We can, so we will. I'm being assaulted by Pathfinder here, I, I don't know why really. Okay, okay, first L-Star Gamer, and yeah, some great Hemlock shots there to start off with. And give these arm shield. Nice, nice. Some good shots on that guy to get him taken down. And that's get me out of the game. So we're in a good spot to win this round now. Oh, he's so weak. Oh, it's so scary fighting an L-Star. Dude, these guys are going to die to zone. I think one of them just... Yeah, they're dead to zone. That's... That's... That's fine by me. Okay, so we're going to go with a bruiser this round. I think that's probably my best bet to get the most out of the hemlock. It's probably better at those medium ranges than at close range. Please don't beat me up this time, Path. It looks like their horizon has gone and taken height, so I'm going to try and get a back angle here. Why would you look over here, Horizon? And she hails the L-Star again. 
This is not very poggers. Nice, nice, nice. Some good shots on the Octane there, I think. Oh, no. What are you doing, Gibby? What are you doing, Gibby? Nice job for the teammate for knocking one before he got knocked. Nice. Two rounds down already. I thought I would be struggling more with this loadout. And to be honest, it's still not my favourite, but... I don't know. Got some decent teammates, and fortunately enough for me... That's enough to not have to worry too much about my loadout. Nice, nice. I see you, Gibby. Oh no. Using the hemlock at this range is not the way forward. Come on, teammate. He's super weak. I'm gonna have to go in and see what I can do here. He has a Mastiff. This is not ideal. <laughs> oh no. Go on, teammate. Clutch up with the L Star. Oh, let's go. That is the way you want your first game to go. A clean sweep. Not the cleanest from me, but you know what? Just to win with this loadout is enough for me, so I'm very happy with that result. Okay, so with all that being said and done, we can now spin for the very first time the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel full of all sorts of perks and rewards for having won the last game. So let's see what we get. Okay, okay, so it's not going to be something that's going to help us in the next game but it is 10 packs so I'm never gonna turn down 10 packs that's that's good for me okay so I'm actually gonna spend the time as we open these packs to explain a few things about the series so as you'll notice I'm already pretty much towards the end of Diamond 3 at the time of this recording and obviously I would prefer to be a little bit further back in the ranks because it makes the journey of the series a lot more exciting but honestly I didn't really expect to be making this series, it's something I came up with pretty recently and I thought just as a trial run for the first series we'll just kick off in the middle of Diamond and see how far we can get and if you guys enjoy the series then next time we'll of course have the placement matches and everything else involved as well so you know it's not exactly the perfect run for the first series but hopefully I can bring you something new that you enjoy and we can make a good series out of this as we get our first legendary and it's an L-Star skin for the L-Star meta in arenas. Not bad. We're going to rock that, I think. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the series. Uh, it's going to be a long ride and I'm super excited to see how it's received. Let me know in the comment section down below anything you would change in terms of the rule book or the wheels or anything like that. Love to hear it. Obviously the most upvoted comments will be taken into consideration because... You know, we want a rule book that everyone can agree with for the series. Nothing too exciting so far in the packs, but at least we got a legendary. That's not bad. We take that from 10 packs. One legendary, not bad. Okay, so on to the second legend pick of the series. Of course, we have to do this again at the start of every game. And for this game, we're going to be running with Pathfinder. That's a good, good pick for me. As long as we get a decent loadout to go alongside Parthy, I've got big hopes for this game. Okay, and the first gun of the loadout for this game is going to be... The Devotion. I, I honestly hate this gun. It's probably my least favourite gun in the game. Not the ideal gun to get as the first gun of the loadout, but the secondary that we're going to get is going to... Oh my god, it's not going to save us. P2020 again? That's a terrible loadout. I'm not looking forward to this game. Okay, so straight into the second round with this one. I'm actually going to upgrade the P20 a little bit more. We've got a couple of friendlies on the team. 
love to see it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna let them know that <laughs> I have to use the Devo and P2020. But hopefully we can get something out of this game still. I've got Pathfinder at my disposal. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's see if we can get a peek on someone. He's got a wingman, so... I'm gonna have to get up close and personal with this loadout, I think. There's really much I can do at range. So honestly, me being up here is probably a bit pointless. Oh no. I can already see that this is not gonna go well for me. Oh! I don't know what she's doing there. But that's an easy first pick. Oh, just like that. The whole round has turned around. Oh no. so weak. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Oh, man. I literally can't hit a single shot with this thing right now. If he's going up onto height. Probably has a gun. Well, yeah, he has a wingman. Much more suitable gun. I, I can't hit a single shot with this. Definitely have to get a bit closer. I just feel totally useless right now. So I don't want to throw the game by grappling on him, but I don't know what else. I really should have knocked him there. I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay, there's one, there's one close. I'm gonna take this opportunity and try and grapple on him. Oh, but he has an L-Star. Nice job, teammate. Come on, Lifeline. Uh, it's, it's a good try. I probably shouldn't have grappled on him, but do you know what? With this loadout, I just don't know the best way to play it. I'm, I'm actually awful with this gun. Let's see what I can do. Are they zipping up top on me? This is a good chance. I've got the crack. Is that... Hey, I'll force her off height. Oh. There's no way. Oh, there's no way I didn't knock her. Okay, that was just really bad on my part. Oh, I was getting scouted, but still, that guy did so much damage on me. I think I would have probably knocked her if I hadn't been scouted across the map. Come on, teammate, you can clutch this. You've got the L-Star, I believe. He's got the knock. It's just the 1v1. Keep the L-Star out, dude. No, you're never going to get that off. Ah, oh, nice try, man. Nice try. Oh, that was tough. Our first loss of the series, which means our first trip to the Wheel of Fate. Okay then, here we are at the Wheel of Fate. Not where we want to be after a game, but let's see what our fate is. It's going to be... sacrificed a round. I mean, it definitely could have been worse. It's only going to affect one round, but man, that's going to be embarrassing. Okay, now that we know what our fate is, I guess the only thing left to do is to find out what legend we're going to be running next game. Oh man, it couldn't have been much worse than Mirage. Oh man, I really hope we get a good loadout to balance this because otherwise we're in for another really tough game, especially having to sacrifice a round. Okay, so the first gun of the Mirage game is going to be... Oh my gosh, we've been really nice with that. The L-Star, probably the most overpowered gun in arenas right now. And the secondary is going to be... Although we don't really need a secondary when we have the L-Star. 
It's gonna be the hemlock, and you know what? I probably won't even use it. I I've already used it this 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 video. Do you know the L star? It's it's probably gonna be my main gun next game. So then into the final game we go. I had to pick the Clown Mirage skin. You know I had to pick Chuckles the Barrel Man skin. I mean, there's not really a more fitting skin for the series and Mirage in general. And so we go into Dome for one final time. Is that floating koala on the team? Oh my god. Do you know, that's actually so lucky. No way. Well, I mean, we've got one of the perks of the series, which is actually to recruit a content creator just by pure chance. That's, that's actually crazy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I guess I should probably go and explain to him, right? Hello. Hi, I'm so sorry. I'm recording. I'm recording a video. I'm recording a video uh, playing as Mirage. Uh, it's it's hard to explain. Yeah, uh, I I have to sacrifice a round. I'm really really sorry. I'm gonna have to just run at the enemies and get killed. So yeah, uh, basically just I'm really sorry about that. Hi. Yeah, what's up, man? There's Seer on my door. 100 on him. Oh, lifeline super weak. Knocked. Oh, that was a nice shot, not gonna lie. Seer's inside should be pretty weak. Nice. I'm probably gonna sacrifice next round while they have blue shields. There's lifeline. Kill me, Lifeline, where are you going? End my misery. No, no, you can still win. Ooh, he's got the spooky tap strafes on the controller. This week, got this. Batting, batting. Contact! Find a bit. Popped it in the bin now. Let's go. The sacrifice round ends in a win. We yeah, definitely yeah. take that. Okay, let's see what we can do on the final round. Nice knock. Dead. See, it's nearly cracked. But I didn't even kill anyone. GG's. Super lucky to get Koala in the game. GG's, guys. So there we have it. The end of the first episode of the Apex Random Wheel. And who would have thought we would have got Floating Koala and Step Bro Sai on our team by chance? That's super, super lucky, and I'm super glad that we didn't just have to randomly sacrifice a round just to some random teammates. But anyway, we couldn't have had a much better first episode. Two wins and a loss, so you guys can see exactly how the series works. I hope you guys enjoyed, and are looking forward to the next episode of the Random Wheel. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy Ashton, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, and goodbye.